equation of a line, it's a standard form, and it's in this form ax plus by equals c. And what you want when you write an equation in standard form is you want a, b, and c, so these coefficients and this constant, to all be integers. Integers meaning you know whole numbers, no decimals, no fractions, okay, they can be positive, they can be negative, but you want to make sure that a, this leading coefficient, is positive. The other ones can be negative. And you want the variables to be on the left side of the equation, and you want the constant or the number itself to be on the right side. So it's kind of a nice, neat way of writing the equation of a line without having you know, a lot of fractions and decimals and you know, starting off with a negative number. It's like a nice, neat, condensed way of writing it. So let's talk about working with some of these equations of lines in standard form. Say you want to graph this line here, 3x minus 2y equals 6. The easiest way to graph the equation of a line when it's in standard form is to make a little table like this and say set x to 0 to find the y-intercept and set y to 0 to find the x-intercept. So let's do that. If x is 0, 3 times 0 is going to be nothing, so I'm covering that up. If I divide by negative 2, I can see that y is negative 3. So that's our y-intercept, meaning it crosses the y-axis at negative 3. If I set y to 0, okay, I'm setting y to 0, 0 times anything is 0, that's why I'm covering that up. If I divide both sides by 3, right, x is 2. So now you can see it's going to cross the x-axis here at 2. Now if you know two points on the line, you can get your ruler out or your uh, straight edge and go ahead and draw the line through those two points. Okay, now in the next example, we're going to find the equation of a line in standard form that goes through these two points. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by either using the slope-intercept form or the point-slope form then we're going to rearrange it into the standard form. Okay, so let's use the point-slope form. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find the slope. So we're going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that gives us positive 7 over negative 2. Now, if we pick one of these points, let's just say we pick the point 3, 0. We have y minus the y-coordinate equals the slope times x minus the x-coordinate. Okay, so you could have either picked this point or this point. It doesn't matter. Either one. You just don't want to mix and match. You just want to pick one. Okay, right? And so then now I just substituted this into the point-slope form. Okay, y minus the y-coordinate of the point times the uh, equals the slope times x minus the x-coordinate of the point, right? But now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify. So y minus 0 is just y. I'm going to distribute the negative 7 halves. So that's going to give us negative 7 halves x. 3 is like 3 over 1, so I'm going to multiply the numerators together, that gives us 21. The denominators together, that gives us 2, and a negative times a negative is a positive, so I'm going to write that as a plus. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to get the variables on the left, numbers on the right. So I'm going to add the 7 halves x to the other side. That's 7 halves x plus y equals 21 over 2. So we've got the variables on the left, numbers on the right, but I want these all to be integers, so I'm going to multiply by the common denominator, or the lowest common multiple, however you want to say it. And it looks like that common denominator, or lowest common multiple here, is going to be 2. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation, left and right sides, every term, by 2. So if I do that, these 2's are going to cancel, so you get 7x. This is going to be 2 times y, and this is going to be, the 2's are going to cancel, so you're going to get 21. So that's our standard form of the equation of a line. 7x plus 2y equals 21, and you've got it. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope you're learning little techniques and tips and little pointers that are going to make it uh, easier for you to, uh, to understand lines and do better in your math class. Go ahead and subscribe to the videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.